What is going on everybody? My name is Toast and welcome to the channel. Today you guys clicked on this video for one reason and one reason only. Obviously, it's to learn how to unlock the weapons in X Defiant as quick as possible. And that's why I'm here. So without a further ado, this isn't going to be a long video. I just want to get straight into the point for you guys. We're going to be starting off with the assault rifles. To kick us off, we're going to be doing the ACR and the ACR challenge is to get 10 assault rifle long shot kills. Now, how I think this game should be played is not like, you know, Call of Duty where you're rushing and everything honestly more of a stand back type of game in my opinion now you can't really tell the meters but the farthest you have to be is 30 meters right so honestly all I all I really do is just circle the map check the objectives or whatever and then just pick off people like that it's easy to get long shot kills it's it, like all these challenges are obviously gonna be a little time consuming but it's the easiest way to do it and the fastest. So yeah, for the ACR, I do definitely suggest standing around the back of the objective, just getting, picking off those kills, those long shot kills and, you know, getting that over with. Now moving on to the M16A4, it says to get 20 assault rifle headshot kills. Now the best objective game mode that I like playing is Occupy. It's like hard point. Uh, it's pretty easy because you know where the enemies will be at if they're either on, on, the, on the objective or they're gonna come to the objective you know it's pretty easy to tell where they're at now you just have to have some type of good aim i would suggest using the ak-47 the m4 is okay honestly i haven't really been using it that much because when i first did the m4 was <laughs> absolute dog but the ak with the reflex is just mwah, it's perfect for this so just have a little bit of patience you know where everybody's coming from in in hard point you know that it'll be easy to get out it'll be easy to get those headshot kills out the way now the last two guns are the mdr and the lvoac lvoac <laughs> now the lvoac is says to unlock it with via the battle pass which is bs i ain't gonna i ain't gonna be buying that until i see this game popping off you know so that one's self-explanatory and the ndr the mdr is locked you know there's no challenge to unlock it i'm pretty sure you just have to level up i'm only level 23 so i can't really tell y'all about that one but you know what i'm saying all right finally moving on to the smgs for the smgs we're going to be starting off with the p90 and it says to get 10 smg hip fighter kills now the easiest way i got these was literally by flanking them like i would just flank the entire team and it would be as easy as that i would get them like nothing before the p90 and the mp7 you can actually do both at the same time like you could progress both of them easily by doing the hip fire and point blank by just flanking and then getting that you know getting that point blank and hit fire kill while they're not looking at you and one thing you guys gotta know is that you gotta have the patience you're gonna have bad games you know it sucks that you can't have an amazing game every single time but just be patient keep practicing and y'all will get it i promise you now this game a lot of players do play it like really fast paced they try playing it fast paced so they they usually just run straight to the middle which is why just going around the map is like super easy for right now because People don't understand that flanking is, is a thing in this game. Moving on to the MP7, which is personally my favorite SMG so far. It says to get 20 SMG point blank kills. Now, again, like for the P90, the easiest way to get these point blank kills is to rush people and just get as close as you can to them and just hit fire. Because that, that's what I did. I just got as close as I could and I would just spray and pray. But I also did flank because just like the P90, people don't really expect to flank right now because they're just gunning it and trying to get to the middle or whatever objective, you know? So flanking is definitely gonna be the best option for you to get these point blank kills. <laughs> Moving on to the fascinating pistols. We're gonna be starting off with the Renetti or the 93R. I'm calling it the Renetti because I play Modern Warfare, but the, the, the 93R. It says to sprint 240 seconds with secondary. And honestly, man, this is like the easiest thing you could do. Just switch guns and run around, dog. Oh. Moving on to the M1911, Ugh, such an OG gun. It says to get four secondary weapon point blank kills. And man, I might be repeating myself a lot, but literally this is just like the easiest way to get it, y'all. Like th th that's what y'all clicked on this for. Had the easiest way to get these. And it's honestly going around the map, going behind people, or just spraying and praying with the Renetti if you unlock that one first. But yeah, flanking is gonna be your best friend in this. I do definitely suggest doing that. Now, moving on to the LMGs. For the M60, you're gonna have to be dealing 5,000 damage to enemy equipment with an LMG. Now, honestly, for this one, it's just gonna it's just gonna take some time because a lot of people, like I said, like, like gunning it. So they're not really throwing down a lot of their abilities. Uh, the easiest one would probably be that little spider robot to just shoot, shoot that and just, because everyone's running that, you know, you're going to run into those like every other game. 
But honestly, dealing damage with equipment or dealing damage to equipment with LMGs is just gonna be like a coincidence. You know, you can't really go out and and get these. You know. Get off of me for once. Once. You've you literally chosen me every damn time you, you, you're deployed. Every time you've been deployed, the last 30 times I've been straight to me. F off. So, yeah, that for the M60, you're kind of just, yeah, it's going to be a little time consuming. Now, moving on to the RPK 74, it says to deal 10,000 damage with LMGs. Easiest way, like I said, I don't think this game should be played the run and gun type. You know, I feel like staying back a little bit and like aiming down the halls and stuff is a lot better than just going straight in now for the 10,000 damage with lmgs you have so much ammo you know you can literally just stand back a little bit push forward a bit and then just get those easy kills like it, it's all about your play style with this you know and you could even ugh, excuse me you could even flank them you know it's like super easy moving on to the godforsaken shotguns for the double barrel you're going to be having to get 10 shotgun hip fire kills this this shouldn't be that hard you know, it is pretty easy to die though. I, I will not lie. Like you, you do not have a lot of health in this game, game mode. So just running straight at someone would probably not be your best bet. But like I've said with practically every other gun, flanking is always an option. And if you just bum rush an objective with a shotgun, I'm pretty sure you could get one or two kills and get this, this, this one done easily. Is there a helicopter outside, man? And there's a bike too. Okay. All right. Now that that's gone, like I was saying, every developer just insists on having an automatic shotgun in their game for no for no reason. You know, this game is like perfectly fine without the AA-12. But if you want to be cancerous and use this, it says to get 15 shotgun point blank kills. Now, point blank kills is probably the easiest way to get shotgun kills, like in general, because if you shoot like anywhere further than that, it's it's gonna be like a two shot. Like I picked up someone's double barrel and I shot twice at this guy from like not even medium range. It was like maybe an inch away from it being small range or uh, short range and i got two hit markers so what the hell flanking is always going to be your best friend with this 15 shotgun point blank kills easiest thing you could do by just running around the map and shooting everyone in the back now moving on to the last marksman rifle you're really, you're going to be getting 15 marksman rifle long shot kills all right 15 just like i said with the ars this game is best played staying back marksman rifle put on a scope dude don't put that in the video, please. Stay back there, man, and just just destroy everyone that's in your path. And that's how you're gonna unlock the SVD. Now, if you guys want me to do a video discussing how to unlock the faction characters quick AF, just let me know, and I got y'all with that. I hope this helps. I, I don't know if this is like um, useless, but I hope it helps someone because I feel like so try it out let me know if it works let me know if it doesn't and if you guys want to see more x defiant content i'm gonna be dropping that as well because i've been having a lot of fun on this game more than call of duty dude because call of duty is something else right now but yeah i also be posting a bunch of uh, commentary videos and funny videos with my girlfriend so if you guys want to see that and you're new to the channel make sure to check it out because i'm pretty sure nah, 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 i'm not pretty sure i know that you will enjoy it all right guys that's gonna be it for this video take care everybody i love y'all and peace out